Yeah, no, you ain't no psycho You're not like the others, no No changing behaviors Not sure how to act around you So colorful and bright Peru, para Peru, Peru, para Eh <laughs> Lambruski, Lambrusco Hey, fire burn them every time and every day. Happy weekend. Hey, it's me, daughter of the soil. I am back again with another. Should I call it banga? Or should I call it Woto Woto? Should I pity them because they are pregnant? Or should I give it the Woto Woto because of their foolishness? <laughs> Or should I give it to water, water, water? <laughs> no, that's not what I was about to say. What I was about to say is that I want to give all my attention, my love, and my all when I'm here or in my carbon to those of you who love me, appreciate me for who I am. This is what I have learned now. Hey, I will try my possible best that anytime I come to my carbon, I need to appreciate you guys that when I see your comments, honestly speaking, guys, I begin to feel so happy. You know, in life or when you are doing something, appreciate the good things that people do to you. Don't appreciate the bad ones like, oh, if I, I don't want to come here again. I'm trying to learn this thing like, oh, this person share a comment and was insulting me. Mm -mm. If I just see the comment, I just delete and put them in limbo. And then I move ahead, ahead. And then I come here. I appreciate you guys. I see a lot of comments. Oh, Black Beauty TV, I love you. Black Beauty TV, you are the best. Black Beauty TV, you give us the water, water in a very special way. Those are the things I should learn to appreciate. Because the goodness that people gives me, the love is, guys, I cannot buy it with money. So you see, I need to appreciate it and thank you all. And that is why I'm saying thank you so much, so, so much for loving the Black Beauty TV. Even if it is one person that is loving me, I rather appreciate that one person than focusing my life on what people think like bad about me. Because in life, Thousand people are going to like you, thousand will not like you. So we have to look for a balance, you know, and accept the ones that are for us. Hey, I'm not here to preach today. <laughs> Daughter of desire. Guys, summer is good. Oh. <laughs> Very soon, maybe we'll start wearing pullover when, I uh, know, you know, when the summer, when the winter comes. But for now, let us enjoy and enjoy and enjoy. So I came today and honestly speaking, I nearly not come out to do video. I just lie down on my bed. I said, okay, let me see what is going to happen. I started checking video. Behold, I made this video of Salvador. Someone already shared that video to me. I said, ah, let me watch and see. She was like, oh, the disappointment in Africa. I said, ah, ah, Salvador, this one is coming very, very soon. Like, Talking about how she feel, how life has really dealt with her in Africa, how she is lonely in the swamp, how a lot of people are coming to the swamp at the same time. She still feel that loneliness. I said, Salvador, Salvador, one day, one day, all of them, they will come back to tell us. You understand? They will come back to tell us the, the reactors that, yes, all these things that you people have been saying to us, mm, you people are right, but we refuse to listen. There is no how, even if you like staying in the swamp forever, you are not going to be very, very, you are not going to be happy at all. That is the reality. Me, I don't pamper anyone. I say it the way it is. Salvador, I told you right from the one you came out to say you are pregnant. What did I tell you? Me, pregnancy, children are a very big gift. In fact, they are the special gift from God. But you know what? You made the wrong decision in your life. You made the biggest mistake and you will live to regret that forever and ever. Especially in the kind of country you came, Argentina, that they don't even recognize eh, anything that has to do with, blo with black as anything. Your child in Argentina 
you, you are not in Argentina, you are not in the swamp. With all the mansion you have in the swamp, with all the things Marwa is doing for you, you still feel so lonely. Loneliness can kill. Let me tell you the truth, Salvador. I told you this thing, but you refuse to listen. You, you rather pick the part and say that, oh, they are jealous, oh, they are wicked. Like you choose and say like reactors are wicked by telling you the truth that you have made the wrong decision. You, you, in fact, this is the beginning of your regrets. I'm telling you the truth. You think that it's just coming to Africa and just open leg and get belly. I always tell you this thing and it's the reality. Now you are already crying, going up and down. How would you be lonely? Tell me which woman on earth live only with men in the house and think she will be happy. You don't have any close friend in that village. You want everybody to leave that village for you. You want that place to be empty for only you and Marwa. How do you think you are going to be happy? You are even, ha you are even lucky that Marwa takes you like a foreign woman. African man will not stay with you at home. I don't want to be talking. Today is only Salvador's day. I told you guys that most of my videos now, I will just come and talk about one person. And I am gone. And it's the reality. If I see two videos that I can join, I join. If I don't, I see one video. I talk about it and I move ahead, ahead. So for now, guys, let us go and watch uh, Salvador and see how she's doing in the swamp. Hey, is she enjoying the swamp? Or what is she saying about it? And then we'll come back like never before. I don't want to be really hard on her because of the pregnancy, but it is what it is. It's what she chose. So she have to live with it. That is the reality. And that is the banger. Let's go, guys. In music. The truth is, yes, sometimes I struggle a lot with the village life. I miss my social life. I miss to be very active. Going here, going there. Um, I don't live in a city anymore. Um, there's no a lot of things to do that it really excites me here. Uh, mm -hmm. I can make myself busy. Farming maybe, cooking, cleaning the house. Do I get excited about those things? Not at all. Not at all. Do I have my social life here? <laughs> no, I don't have it. I don't have it. Um, I live in a house. But I'm 100% committed in creating a family and building a home. In a place that it does bring me a lot of stress because there is a lot of people here all the time. There is a not too much privacy uh, in a daily basis. There is a lot of people coming every single day here. But I feel lonely. There is a lot of people, yes. But I still feel lonely. I don't have deep connections here. I don't have friends to have conversations. People that ask me how I am, how I feel. Mm. Um, I don't have activities to do that really excites me. Um, and I spend a lot of time here in the house, mostly in this room. Um, yeah, sometimes it's too much. Once in a while, in a week, I may wake up not feeling the greatest. I have these thoughts every single day, not really. Not really. Many days I wake up and I enjoy cleaning. <laughs> if you want to know the true meaning of communication, uh -huh. 
Then you promise a woman money. <laughs> she will be like Dali. Have you eaten tomorrow? <laughs> I'm going to try my possible best to see how I'm going to be breaking this thing. I'll be watching it and I'll be gingering it to you. <laughs> she struggled a lot with life. She's trying in a place to build a family where she doesn't find that peace, where she don't find that joy, where nothing excites her. <laughs> She came to cook in the swamp. Cooking is good to cook for your family. That is not a problem. <laughs> the problem is the loneliness. And how do you, she said that, how did she try? How is she going to form her family in a place that gives her a lot of stress? <laughs> if I laugh, they begin to say, oh, the Black Beauty TV is wicked. The Black Beauty TV it's like that. Uh uh. You people should allow me to rest. They are the ones bringing this benge or denge denge to us on the street. We do not go to their homes and open their mouths. How will you be happy? How will you be able to accomplish your purpose or your dreams? Because you know, in life, where you are not satisfied with what you have. You destroy your life, your future, and your everything. And you have already destroyed Salvador. Let me tell you the way it is. There is no pampering. You have destroyed your purpose. This is not a plan for your life. You plan it for yourself because of what? Because of American gifts. If you, you think that you come to Africa and live a begging life. I used to think that it's making you happy. I never knew that you were this sad. I never knew that you are this very, very sad. Oh, what a shame. I thought that all the gifts, the money, the iPhone, the motorbike, everything you wanted, you got it. The horses, the mal... Look at you. Look at a woman that is pregnant. You're looking like a pigeon. I'm telling you the truth. I don't want to hide. You know, you're supposed to get meat flash in your body. But you don't even go for checkup. You don't do anything. How will you be happy? How will you have that joy in you? You are living in a house. You don't have privacy. You think you will ever have privacy. That is why I said that. When she involved with Marwa, you didn't watch him before. Marwa don't have private life. And when you, you, when you decide to settle with such a human being, when, in fact, how do I say it? When you chose to settle with a caveman, you are going to live with it forever. Nobody cares. You see, you don't want to see anybody in that compound. At the same time, you are complaining of being lonely. You don't have, what do you want? Some people will say that, oh, it's pregnancy hormones. Uh -uh, we have been pregnant now. I know every pregnancy is different. I have children. And every pregnancy was different. The way I was feeling with Paul, it's not the way I'm feeling with Michelle. I fell with Michelle. So you see, it's different entirely. Even when the children are growing up, everybody has his own or her own character. But pregnancy does not make you to be like this. The girl, the woman, Salvador is the sad human being in her life. You decided to settle with the caveman. You are calling yourself a wife, wife. When nothing is being done on your head, you are not even married, you force yourself to be a free wife, costing loss, you know, to settle for nothing. Now you are already crying. You never start to cry. I'm telling you the truth. This is just the beginning. You don't, you will never have those activities, especially in that village that you went. Hey, you came, you saw that hey, they built a garage house for you. You thought you have seen heaven and earth. You thought you have seen heaven and earth when you enter Marwa's channel and start begging Americans to give you dollars. 
when Jamaica uncle came, was pampering you with money. What makes you to be pregnant? The first time she came, oh, she was so angry. If they even call her wife, or oh, when are you becoming pregnant? Before you know it, you are saying you are the one who pray and decide you want to become pregnant. Now you are pregnant with king, a king in a village. You are the, the, the princess. You are the queen. You are going to give birth to a small princess or king, I don't know. And how, how is that luxury life not making you happy? How? See, you are so, let me tell you the way it is. You are so, so foolish. You don't have upstairs. Who does that? You came. I, I will play the videos for you today, Sadi, analyzing her. There's the one she will say that she was doing well financially and everything. You were doing well financially. Do you want me to go and pull all your videos or pictures that you hide? You were doing, if you were really doing well financially, you will never come and settle in that swamp villa. You were doing bad, bad. Begging people every day for coffee. Begging people to buy you a coffee in your YouTube your kaput YouTube channel that has not even gone to anywhere. Marwa deceived you with a ticket. You came. Instead of you to protect yourself. Marwa deceived you, deceived you. Ask yourself, you just came. Two months or three months after knowing Marwa. You came and became pregnant. Ask yourself all the girls that have known Marwa for ages. Why they did not become pregnant for Marwa. Ask them, they told you they warned you, and you say, oh, heaven and earth is your calling. He might be treating you well, but let me tell you, you are in Africa, in African village. You say, oh, you don't have a friend. You send all the women out of that villa. How can you have a friend? When African cook was there for you, what did you do to her? That day you came to stand like a vulture in your kitchen, looking. Complaining to Marwa that she did not clean the kitchen. So where is Marwa's PA, first PA? Eh, sausage auntie that used to be with you. Where is she? Where is Baki Baki? You are lonely. You don't have friends. Nobody can interact with you because you are the boss lady. <laughs> I hear this small boy calling her boss lady, boss lady. This is the boss lady you came to live in Africa. Oh, nothing excites you. Nothing makes you happy in the swamp. You never see, you never start. In fact, you have to start crying. She is not going to stay, guys. She's already preparing people's mind. She said nothing. Guys, she said that nothing in that place makes her happy. Nothing gives her joy in that place. Do you think that that is life? Do you think that is the life you have planned? The baby has not even come out. You are already regretting. Now she said, oh, she's going to give birth in Argentina. You are going to give birth in Argentina. Only God knows if you will come back to the swamp with this baby. You, you miss your social life. You marry a caveman that has no social life. The only social life he got is all those village boys, my you know, Nastro Nastra. That is his Social life. His social life is to collect money on YouTube. His social life is to bank on YouTube. Can't you realize it? That guy don't have social life of taking a woman out for a party, for a dinner. To pamper you, Valentine, you know. Any occasion, Mother's Day, Women's Day, Sister's Day, Auntie's Day. That is not a social man. He cannot give you that treat you think you plan for yourself. You can't get it from the caveman. You cannot get that social life you have been, you were living before with your friends in Mexico, singing your street music. You have missed your calling because of lack of focus. You refuse to focus. You follow American gifts. American super slab. You follow it. And now your dream, water that, that swamp villa water has took and carried your dream away. Whom are you crying for? Is it me, the Black Beauty TV? You call us wicked. 
Oh, you are following a celebrity. YouTube celebrity has become your husband. <laughs> to see how he even disrespect you on top of pregnancy, he cannot even engage you. You are not even engaged with him. You are just following him like a mugu. Marwa that don't have sense is the one that even deceive you into pregnancy. What a shame. Ask yourself, he bought one way ticket for you so that when you come to Africa, you say you want to go, he will never let you go. And it's exactly what happened to you. Now you are crying with the baby in the tummy. What a shame. Let's go, guys, and watch another of her nonsense. Today is her day. You have never seen loneliness. It's just the beginning. Caveman cannot take you for any dinner, any party, any club. He's a caveman forever. You take it or you go back to Mexico or Argentina. How do you live that life with small or mama baby? Before you have your free life again. Hey, auntie, sorry. Sorry, you should have think twice and find that right man. Before I met Maram, I was longing for love. I was very good financially and very active in my career, but I was ready to find the perfect romantic match for me. That, that partnership, you know, that man that will stay in my life. The man I will marry, the father of my children. I was ready to enter that level of my life. Like I was tired of dating and the boyfriend, girlfriend idea. Um, so I was asking the universe to please find my man and bring it to me. At the same time, in my career's time, if you don't know, I'm a musician, I'm a singer, and that's what I feel is my purpose in life, my mission in life, the gift that I bring to this world. So in my own individual path, I was planning to move from this place where I was living, Puerto Escondido in Mexico. I was planning to move to Mexico City, one of the biggest city in Latin America. So Never-ending saga. Before she met the king of the swam, <laughs> she was very, very financially stable <laughs> from her hotel job cleaning the rooms and singing to eat food. Hey, and she came to Africa without body cream, without body lotion, without even soap to bath herself. She came to Africa empty handed, without even clothes. This is a financial stable woman, without even clothes to wear, till subscribers of Marwa pity her and send her clothes from the US. <laughs> Hi, Lambruski, Lambruska. Guys, have you loved my video? Kindly like the video as we move into the water, water. Financially <laughs> stable and stable, but she was dying to find love. She wanted somebody that would love her, that would care for her, that would adore her in her feminine spirit. <laughs> And what did she get? She got king of the swamp who doesn't even know how to show a woman affection. You should have seen red flags. 
You were looking for love. Do you think this guy, he, maybe if he loves you, but he cannot express this. You came to Africa, he cannot even hold hands with you in public. He cannot do anything with you. And this love you were crying for, you could not get it. What a shame. After not getting that love, instead of you to realize very, very well, very, very quick, very, very fast, what did you do? Your attention was not more on that love. Your attention was on the subscribers. How much do they give you every blessed day? And that is what took your attention from your purpose in life. I saw you when you were opening your bend down select, your okrika from the U.S. You were so excited. Marwa could not even do it himself. He has to wait for you to open those okrika. How you were so excited when they bought you motorcycle. How you were excited when the horses that you want to kill them now with hunger. When you got them, how you were so excited eh? when all the American give, when Jamaican Uncle De Mumu came and give you dollars, woto woto. See, all those things, they cannot make you happy. Because of what? Because that is not your purpose. That is not what you want for your life. That is not what you plan. But you turn yourself into a nonsense woman. <laughs> Lambrusky, Lambrusco, Rocio Rosalinda. <laughs> Should I cry for you in my house language? La 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 la. Do you want me to speak Yabohanze language for you? Hey, ugali, 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 ugali. <laughs> See how all the bones are burning. <laughs> Don't ever allow your chest to meet anything on the floor. <laughs> if not, the bones are going to burn because of eating of ugali have soaked your blood. Everything. There is nothing. You are looking like a malnutrition, like you have malnutrition. Guys, <laughs> should we continue or do you want me to pity you? This video might, I don't know when I will post this video because the story is still gingering me. Eh? Salvador Aka, pregnant woman for the caveman. Struggle to find myself like. I'm in the right place to be. The truth is also that a strong belief that I have, and I repeat it already at the beginning of this video, is that we are always right where we are supposed to be. We are always in the right place, even if we get it or not. The point I'm being so hard on myself thinking that the type of content that I'm sharing these days in this new life that I have has nothing to do with what I'm supposed to do. And then I received this type of comments. I cannot say that I'm disconnected from my path, that I'm disconnected from my purpose. In this seeking of understanding, I realize that as long as you follow your instinct and intuitions, you are in the right path. When you are in the wrong path, you will feel it. Everything will fail. You will feel not sad a couple of days. You will feel completely com disoriented in life. You will feel depressed and you will feel like fighting against life. Um, nothing will work. <laughs> With my love. Your love, fuck you, motherfucker, you. But I love you. Stupid. Bro, I love you. You're I my... know the wife, you got. You are my brother. I'm not...
Salvador, <laughs> stop turning, turning the talks. Mm -mm. There is no how in life. Let me teach you something. Because you are trying to confuse people and confuse yourself so that people will not know that you are already making your mind to live. So that people will not be thinking otherwise. Let me tell you, we are never ever in this life. Be like, if you are not happy, then you are not where you are supposed to be. That is the reality. You will only be where you are supposed to be when you are happy and enjoy yourself in that place. You cannot be enduring where you are supposed to be. Never in life. Maybe you, I don't know, but someone like me, the Black Beauty TV, I can never be happy where I'm not supposed to be. So don't turn and think that you are talking to village people. That is why you are bringing this ideology or how do I say it? Because if you are talking to people that are intelligent, you cannot say, oh, no matter what happened, you are never where you are not supposed to be or you are always where you are supposed to be. Never. You are not where you are supposed to be. That is why you are sad and that is why you are becoming tintin. I know you are not a, you know, a, a fat woman like us. <laughs> you understand or how do I say it? You are not a biggie biggie like us. Let me put it that way. At the same time, when you came to the swamp, your bones were not burning. Your bones were relaxing inside the meat. Your bones, at least, there was a little meat that holds them. But now, where you are right now, the sadness in you, the way you cannot accept that place you are, the way you cannot accept even that the people come every day, you say that you are forever lonely. I'm not the one, Black Beauty TV, saying it. You are the one saying it. You are always sad. So how do you believe that this is where you are supposed to be? This is not. Don't turn the talk at, at, at all. I can't be sad where I am supposed to be. Where I'm supposed to be is that place that gives me the ginger. It's that place that gives me all the happiness in the world. At this time, let me tell you, you are not even happy because you are not with the right man. Because if you are with the right man, I'm telling you the truth, even inside the cave, you will forget everything that is happening in this world and you will go ahead ahead with your happiness. But because you are not with your man, Marwa is not your husband. Marwa is not the man that makes you happy. Marwa is not the ginger for you. And that is why you are very, very sad. And by still remaining with him because you want to please others or you want to satisfy your ego. Eh? You don't want to, people to say you are a failure, a failure. Is that how you say it? You begin to remain in that sadness forever. Sadness is your name. Unless you choose that place you think that is the one to make you happy. If you choose that thing, that you know that, yes, this is where I get my ginger. Just like me, the Black Beauty TV. I don't care about what people say about me, no. Because I know I am where it's giving me the ginger. I'm where I'm getting the happiness. I want to go. This is how life's supposed to be. Not about struggling to make yourself happy, but, make, but being happy despite anything around you. That is where you are supposed to be. You don't struggle for it. You don't endure it. You just live it. You are living it. You are not struggling to make it never. Your own struggle is even too much. Loneliness can push you into depression. So choose where you think you are supposed to be. It's not still too late that having a child for somebody does not make you to remain the slave queen. We are upon all the slaves they have for you. You are not still happy. Guys, you know something? The video is so long. And I cannot analyze this video because from the beginning to the end, if you want to watch, go and watch it and analyze the remaining one for yourself. Because me, the Black Beauty TV, I think I've done my best for today. And I thank you guys and love you for everything and everything and thank you guys for loving me
the way I am. Kindly subscribe to the channel and like the video and give your comments. Give your comments. I love you guys and I thank you for everything. Bye-bye. Have a wonderful weekend. It's me, daughter of the soil. I love you all. But skin is what they keep Where the lies they spin We promise it so far But when it comes to truth They never told a lie Invest with me They say your money's gonna go But once you take the bait Your pockets start to go Now my heart smiles while hearts inside they bleed I feel like your piss smiles Driven by pure greed Truth gets twisted Lines all fade away In the bonds this game where fortunes are made Living flashy on the surface But inside it decays Yoked upon shattered dreams and stolen paydays